Hello there and welcome. Today I really need to wash my hair. I can either clarify my hair or I can use a clay mask. And the clay mask is what I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm going to talk about this Mark Anthony Instant Miracle Mask Volumizing Clay Mask. It has a couple different kinds of clay in it. It has bentonite clay, which is a more harsh clay that removes uh, negatively charged impurities like your conditioner buildup and your polyquat buildup. And it also has Moroccan lava clay, or this is also known as Rasul clay. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, um, but it's the same thing. So the bentonite clay comes from the Western United States. It is a volcanic ash clay. The Moroccan clay comes from Morocco. Uh, the Moroccan lava clay. The Moroccan lava clay is a little bit more gentle on your hair. And uh, this mixture also has kaolin clay, which is another um, a little more gentle clay. But all of these clays are supposed to remove impurities and toxins from your hair. Uh, the internet also says that the clays are good for itchy scalp, for dandruff. I don't know if that's true or not. This product also has some conditioning agents. It's a little bit more like a co-wash than um, a shampoo if we're trying to put it in a category. It has uh, cetyl alcohol and stearic acid and cetyl alcohol. These, um, I assume, are supposed to help counteract the harsh action of the clay. Some people find that using clay masks on their hair really dries their hair out and these conditioning agents are probably supposed to help with that. It also has olive oil, which is um, probably also supposed to help keep the clay from drying out your hair. Alright, so before trying a new product that has a lot of different ingredients in it like this, one thing I recommend is to do a little test to make sure you're not allergic to it. So clay is essentially dirt. And when you have an ingredient like dirt or clay, if you look at the dirt outside, it has a lot of different things in it. Dirt isn't just dirt, it's a lot of different minerals. So yeah, there's always the possibility you could have an allergy to it. And what I did before uh, using this product for the first time, I actually did a little test where I put some on my face. Because people use these clay masks um, for their skin as well. So I just put a little bit on my face and uh, just made sure that I didn't have any allergic reactions. Allergic reactions include redness, itching, stinging, burning, hives, trouble breathing, watery eyes, any of that. Um, if you have any of those things, then you want to stop and not use a product. All right, I am back, no allergic reaction. I washed that clay off my face and put a little lotion on because it can be drying to your skin too. It removes the oil from your skin, um, leaves it shiny, but um, possibly dry. So today I'm gonna just show you how I use this clay mask. The first thing you wanna do is wet your hair. You can do that in the shower or I'm gonna show you um, just with a spray bottle. If you need help detangling your hair, you may want to use um, something like a leave-in conditioner or an oil or a detangler, whatever you would normally use to help detangle your hair if you have trouble, if your hair is such that you can't finger detangle it really well. My hair detangles super easy, so I don't need to do that. Now the reason I tried out I uh, wanted to try out this clay mask is that I saw a lot of people on the internet using the bentonite clay to clarify their hair and also um, seeing that it helps with their itchy scalp. I was a little bit too chicken to try making my own bentonite clay mask from scratch the first time I used clay because I also saw that the clay can be uh, very um, harsh on hair if you're not careful. If you just add water to plain bentonite clay, it ends up being a really high pH. A lot of people add apple cider vinegar to it to try to neutralize that pH. 
and I thought, you know, the first time I use, use a new ingredient, I don't want to potentially fry my hair. I think I'll try using a product that's a commercial product like this one where they've formulated it to not damage my hair. So what you want to do is grab your clay mask and if you have a lot of hair, you might want to divide your hair into sections to do this. I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy, but you know, it might work better for you if you divide your hair into sections. I'm going to rub my scalp first. I'm going to rub it into my scalp first and then do the lengths after. So I'm just using it like a co-wash right now, rubbing it into my scalp. And get a little bit more. This was about how much I got in that first round. I didn't show you. You can see how if you have hair that tangles easily, you might have uh, a lot of tangles by this point. Um, I actually don't. My hair, um, maybe because of all the conditioning agents in this product, I can get my fingers through my hair pretty easily right now. It's not tangling, so that's good. All right, now I'm gonna get some more and just rub it into the lengths of my hair. So now we leave it on for eight to 10 minutes. You wanna to try to keep it wet. It can be really hard to get out of your hair if you let it dry. So keep that spray bottle handy. If you find that your hair is starting to get dry, just give a little spritz. I will see you back in eight to 10 minutes. All right, I am back. It has been about eight minutes and the next thing I need to do is go over there and rinse my hair out really well. I need to get all of this clay out of my hair. So I will be back as soon as I get my hair rinsed. All right, after you get your hair all rinsed, the next thing you wanna do is a deep conditioner with whatever deep conditioner treatment you usually use. Um, today I'm using my Matrix Biolage Hydrosource Conditioner that I double as a deep conditioner. A little bit of it. And at this point, you know, you can style and deep condition your hair the way you normally would. I'm going to continue to show you what, um, what I do here today to give you some of my extra ideas of how uh, somebody might do this, but you know if you've already got your routine down you can just do what you normally do So for deep conditioning, I'm going to put on my conditioner And I'm brushing it through with a Denman brush so that it gets distributed and then you can do some curl training if you so desire. I like to do some really quick and dirty two strand twists. You can do finger coils, two strand twists. You can just pop a shower cap on top of it the way it is. Um, I like to do the curl training with a two strand twist because it's really quick. For me, the way I do it, I just do these really big sections. I don't know if it's really doing anything, but... I convinced myself that it is. Your hair has memory, so if you brush it in a certain direction while you're washing it, it's gonna remember that when you're styling it, which is kind of cool.
right, well there's my super quick and dirty two strand twist. I'm gonna pop a shower cap on this. And I'm gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes. You will have to decide how to deep condition your hair. Clay is barely drying, so the first time you try a clay treatment, I would err on the side of more moisture in your uh, subsequent hair styling. All right, I am back. I'm gonna rinse this conditioner out of my hair. And now I'm gonna add my leave-in conditioner. Just a tiny bit. I only put this on the ends of my hair because my hair gets really weighed down easily. And then when I use the Denman brush for styling, I use it at this step. If I use my Denman brush while I'm styling my hair with gel, my clumps end up, my curl clumps end up too defined and it looks like I have bald patches. If you have really thick hair, you can use the Denman brush um, for styling your hair um, later in the styling process and have more defined curls. There are a lot of tutorials about that online, but here's where I'm going to use my Denman brush today. Like I said, from this point forward, you just want to style your hair like you normally would. I'm just continuing to show you what I'm doing to give you additional ideas. All right, I don't actually like to leave my leave-in conditioner um, in my hair. I'm gonna go rinse a little bit of it out with cool water and be right back. A lot of people would be putting their gel on their hair at this point. I am actually going to dry my hair a little bit with this cotton t-shirt. You can use a microfiber towel or a cotton t-shirt. I'm going to do damp styling instead of wet styling because I find it gives me a little bit more volume and volume is what I want right now. My hair is a little bit thinner more sparse than usual. Hopefully it's just from postpartum hair loss and not a permanent thing, but I'm finding styling techniques that give me more volume, um, give me a better result right now. So what I'm gonna do is actually let this dry a little bit and then come back and put my gel on it um, after it's about 70% dry. So I will see you then. All right, my hair is starting to get a little bit drier here. So I'm gonna add my gel and it's winter, so I'm gonna mix it with some hair cream. I'm gonna use the BioSilk Rock Hard Jelly and I'm gonna mix that with just a little bit of the Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. Both of these are glycerin free and I like to use them in the winter. I'm going to use about this much of the bio silk and about that much of the curl cream and just mix it together until it's really, really well mixed. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Till it's really smooth. And kind of glaze it, you know, cross between glazing and praying hands method. You'll know if you don't have enough water. 
because your hair will start to stick to your hands. That'll cause frizz and you'll want to go add some more water. this dry the rest of the way and see what happens. All right, well that is my routine for having a little more volume as opposed to definition. As far as the clay mask went, I liked it. It's a little more like a co-wash than a shampoo. It left my hair feeling a little bit more weighed down than it would for uh, if I used a clarifying shampoo. Here, I'll show you the back. Uh, it's not dried out, which um, maybe that's because I did the uh, deep conditioning treatment. It's kind of like a co-wash, but a co-wash plus. It feels a little bit more cleansed than a regular co-wash. And yet, as I mentioned, if I want it to uh, really feel like I've replaced my clarifying shampoo, I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and make my own homemade clay treatment. So stay tuned for that one. Um, as always, stay curly.